everyone, we are on the tube today and we are on the way to one of the creepiest cemeteries in London. Today we are at Highgate Cemetery in London and we are going to go on a little grave hunt and going through a little bit of history. Open in 1839, Highgate Cemetery was built as part of the Magnificent Seven where seven cemeteries that were built as an effort to move the burials out of the city of London. The tombs and buildings are built in Victorian and Gothic style and they were highly soft burial ground in the 1800s. However, by World War II, the cemetery was left unattended. It was overgrown and in disrepair, which gave it a really creepy feel. Many famous people are buried here, including George Michael, Ian Holm, um, James Holman, the blind traveller, 19th century adventurer, Adam Worth, a famous criminal and possible inspiration for Moriarty's character in Sherlock Holmes. Legends of the Highgate Vampire surfaced here in the 1970s. Two people separately claimed to have seen a dark figure bending over the graves here in the cemetery. They were adamant and these were supernatural entities on cemetery grounds and this led to a massive vampire hunt which culminated on Friday the 13th, 1970 which inspired the Hammer film Dracula, AD 1972. There are two sides of the cemetery, east and west. Um, east seems to be a little bit more overgrown and more surrounded by nature, as you can see right behind me. And the west is probably the most famous one. So we're going there later. I mean, this is absolutely beautiful. And yeah, it can be creepy a little bit. You know, I wouldn't come here at night probably. Unless you guys would like me to do something like that. <laughs> please say no, please say no. <laughs> <laughs> I probably would. I'm pretty sure it would be quite fun. As you can see, it's still very un unattended. And of course, let's keep an eye on vampires, making sure there are no ghostly figures around here. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. I'm kind of lost already, I don't know what I am. <laughs> I'm just wandering around tombs and um, I think I've reached a dead end. <laughs> okay, grace right, grace left. <laughs> This place is absolutely massive. It is, a, um, it is a labyrinth. Beautiful labyrinth though. Oh my God, look at this. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh, it's got flowers going I mean, look at these. They're so beautiful. I would spend a whole day here, seriously guys. I literally would. I'm gonna walk on graves. I don't know where I'm going. Where am I going? Down there, maybe. Okay, down, down there. Yes, I'm literally walking on graves, guys. Okay. Let's have a little grave hunt and see what we can find. Oh, this is getting rather fun, isn't it? Is Douglas Adams and someone put a little dolphin print out said so long and thank you for your story instead of thank you for all the fishes 
and number 42, of course. And all these pens, so that you can keep writing. The same cannot be said about this big head. How many graves there are here? So many. Michael McLaren, Sex Pistols manager. Do you know with the wind and the roads, it's like the, you can hear the whispers in the trees. It's just amazing. Highgate has its own in-house cat. Hello, boy. Hey. Oh, he's probably dead. He's not coming to me. Right, let's keep going. Some of the tombs were opened and raided. Um, they had stakes through the heart of the corpse, still in the in graves. And yeah, they actually found bones and scattered all over the place. Oh God, that's not a bone. Gruesome, there were gruesome tales of open tombs and bodies mutilated with wooden stakes by scores of so-called vampire hunters. Boy, it sounds up bad. British cultist and a priest, Debbie Farrant in Short Manchester, announced an official vampire hunt on the 13th of March 1970. They said that they managed to find and kill the vampire Highgate. He was televised on TV and after that it remained a popular location for occult, the supernatural and vampires enthusiasts. part of Highgate Cemetery. This is where the vampire sightings were. And you can see it's very busy and in disrepair. On the because last time I was here, I was walking past it and it says not to put anything on the grave. So I looked at the name and I said, you know, who is it? Oh, it's some Greek. Hey, George Michael. This place doesn't scare me. It's so peaceful, despite the weird noises. Now we're going around the mausoleum, which is also called the, the Circle of Lebanon. And this is something that Potterheads might recognize. I've been here before and I posted pictures of this place. And everybody's asking, is the Père Lachaise? Dear Potterheads, I'm really sorry, but Grindelwald has not been shot in Paris. He was shot at Highgate. And we're gonna go down in a minute. And that is for me one of the spookiest parts of this place where a very strong chill gets to you.
There's some really strange noises in there. Probably from me walking, that is. Well, you guys, this is it from me. I hope you really enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give us a thumb up. It helps spreading this video to other people who might enjoy this as well. And I shall see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.